Now I'd just like to quickly re-examine um, active versus passive uh, rotations. So if you remember from a previous video, um, active uh, rotation was when the point itself was rotated, okay? Whereas a passive transformation or passive rotation was when not the point, but the axes were rotated, okay? And there was a, a definite difference between the two transformations. So in the first instance, we had an active transformation which gave us um, new coordinates x dash y dash given by these expressions here and with the passive transformation we got new coordinates which were given by these two uh, expressions here okay I'm just going to turn them into uh, matrix transformations uh, or sorry rather uh, transformation matrices so that you can see what they look like as matrices and then I'm going to see what happens when you combine the two so we're going to call the active uh, transformation matrix A and it's given by cosine theta minus sine theta sine theta cosine theta so remember that the coefficients here become your A, B, C, D in your transformation matrix okay the passive um, transformation matrix is cosine theta sine theta minus sine theta cosine theta okay and i'm going to um, ask the question now what happens when we combine ap together multiply the two together well we get cosine theta minus sine theta sine theta cosine theta times cosine theta sine theta minus sine theta cosine theta okay those are our two uh, matrices that we're going to multiply together okay so we do it as normal rows by columns so this row by this column first okay so uh, we're multiplying a two by two matrix by a two by two matrix. So we should get a two by two matrix in the result. So cosine, uh, cosine theta times cosine theta is cosine squared theta. Uh, minus sine theta times minus sine theta is plus sine squared theta, that's the first element. The next element over here comes from this first row but the second column. So it's going to be cosine theta times sine theta. Cosine theta, sine theta. Okay. Um, cosine theta, sine theta, minus sine theta, cosine theta. Okay, and then the third element here going to be this second row times this first column. So it will be sine theta cosine theta minus sine theta cosine theta. And this fourth element will be this second column or second row times the second column. So sine theta sine times sine theta is sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta. Okay, so cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is a very famous trigonometric identity, which gives you one. These two cancel, which gives you zero. These two cancel, which gives you zero. And this gives one also. So that is the same as the identity element. It's the same as doing nothing. Okay, why is that? Well, if I draw a very brief diagram here. If you can imagine taking the point x, y, okay, if you can imagine moving that point x, y to some no rotating that point x, y, I should say, to some new position, okay, say here, okay, but then you also rotate the coordinate axes. So these coordinate axes get rotated too. Okay, it ends up that the point 
relative to the coordinate axes is in the same position, right? It's uh, whatever distance along the x was on this axis, it's the same distance along on this new transformed axis. So you can see that uh, transforming the point and then transforming the axis has the same result as doing nothing at all.